from the book by AVT on integration. We are taking question number 19 on page number 39. This is question number 19 and it says integrate cos 2 theta into log cos theta plus sin theta over cos theta minus sin theta d theta. Well, this is very important question. Uh, we have compiled this under uh, HOTS. Clearly, this question is on bypaths and you can do this question by various methods. You can apply log m by n as log m minus log n. But what we are doing, we are dividing each term by cos theta within log. So let's solve. We are dividing each term by cos theta within log. So question converts to further And this becomes tan A plus B. So it turns to tan pi by 4 plus theta. So the question becomes now clearly log will be the first function and trigo will be the second function. And we apply by parts. First function log tan pi by 4 plus theta as it is. The integration of cos to theta is sine to theta upon 2. Only take the primitive part, only take the variable part. There is no need to put the integration constant in this. So the integration of cos to theta is simply sine to theta by 2 minus the whole integration of derivative of log, which is 1 upon tan into the derivative of tan is secant square. And the integration of cos to theta is again sine to theta and I'm taking constant outside upon 2 and the respect is d theta. Now, everyone can do up to this step. But now what to do? What to do next is a problem. Well, the target is only to solve this question, only to solve this part. The target is only to solve this part. So what you do So what you do, you write the first step as it is. And you break tan to sine by cos. And you write secant square as 1 upon cos square. pi by 4 plus theta. Now you can see that cos 1 cos and this cos square 1 cos from the square they get cancelled and you utilize this 2 with sine and cos. So this 2 sine theta cos theta will do magic. This 2 sine theta cos theta will make it sine to theta. So we are writing the first part as it is just for the sake of it.
and now this 2 sin theta cos theta will turn to sin 2 theta and what is sin 90 plus theta or 90 plus alpha that is cos alpha so the denominator turns to cos 2 theta so what is sin 2 theta over cos 2 theta that is that is tan 2 theta and now you can integrate tan 2 theta as log mod secant 2 theta upon 2 so the final answer is now you write sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta as tan 2 theta and the integration of tan 2 theta is log mod secant 2 theta upon 2 So this expression becomes the answer. In many books you could see the other answers also but we, we say that only expression is different if their approach is not related to the multiple angle obviously the angle will be in theta but all the answers will be correct. Thank you very much.